Welcome to Lynn Rose Crafts. Today I'm going to go over the 4th of July um, piece that I made with this truck. It already came with a hanger from the dollar store here. It was super cute and I instantly was like, oh, that'd be really cool with the firecrackers and stuff. I also found this um, USA sign. It's a hanger that normally goes up and down, but I took the burlap off the back, separated my USA so that I could then um, take it and arrange it. And then once I had it the way that I liked it, flipped it over, took this piece of burlap and then repurposed it and glued it onto the back of the USA sign. All right, so on this one here, it does have the long hangers on the back here, so you don't wanna cut those, otherwise you cut your dangling sign off of there. So I just trimmed it um, just before uh, both of the staples on the back side there. So that that was off. And then I took the newly arranged USA sign here that I just made and I laid it underneath the front of the truck to kind of see where I wanted it to go. Now I had to do this to balance out the fireworks um, and have something in addition to attach uh, also to attach the hanger to. So once I got it where I thought I wanted it, where it would look good, then I went ahead and hot glued the sign here to the back of my truck. All right, so once it, the glue is dry here, this is nice and secure. Make sure you put plenty of hot glue in there. I would recommend using a heavy duty glue, especially if you were to put this outside or on your door. Um, and then I just went in with my extra burlap here, uh, and then I dovetailed it there. And that end. <clears throat> And this end here, I may need to put no, a little tiny bit of glue yeah, on that end. Just trim it. And do the same. There on that, that burlap. You can fold it in half. I'm just, <laughs> I just made a square. <laughs> Let me fold it in half and cut it a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I guess I don't want it to square. Oh well. I can actually probably even just cut it off. Should have folded it. Okay. See how easy it is when you make a mistake just to change it. Changes the look a little bit, but that's okay. Now, I found, uh, obviously, the pool noodles, of course, at Dollar Tree as well. I did pick up red and white. And then you just kind of, do, I eyeballed it to where I thought I might want um, these to be. Take some scissors, cut it right through. I got Dollar Tree ribbon, of course, here. I'm going to use some hot glue. I'm going to take my ribbon, starting from the bottom on a little bit of a diagonal here, and we're going to hot glue this ribbon up this firecracker. Once I got the ribbon onto the pool noodle, I literally take, took a skewer. These are all over Dollar Store right now because of summer coming up, so if you see them, grab them. They're awesome for crafts, of course. And when you decide what order of your firecrackers you want to put them in, you literally take this skewer and you're just going to poke it. Let's see, I want this one up higher. Poke it right through that pool noodle. And this will help make sure 
that your fireworks or firecrackers here don't go anywhere on you. Now you don't want to poke it all the way through the side here to where the skewer is showing. If you do, just either pull back slightly or go ahead and cut it off. And then I have some heavy duty wire clippers. I'm just going to trim that right off there. And no one will be the wiser that these are held together with a skewer. I then took my truck here and looked where I was going to place them on here, making sure that they fit in the design here. Great, that's where I want them. And now the fun part too balloon holder. So I took this apart and you're going to want to keep, oh my glue gun just fell over there. You're going to want to keep the red part here and you're going to take your wire clippers and trim it off of this base because we don't need that for now. We definitely need clippers for this. And then I'm going to take this red part here. It reminded me of fire, so that's why I put it in there. And it actually, because you don't have anything else stuffed in here, um, acts as a holder for those. And then literally just gathered it together at the bottom, like so. Took a, a little bit of glue directly onto the stick itself and placed it down in there. That way you have your firecrackers. Now we're going to, um, at the end here, we're going to take and arrange these little stars so that they look like they're truly shooting out of your firecracker or firework here because we're also going to take those fairy lights. And we're, this is what we're also going to be using um, to attach those fairy lights. Okay, we've gotten everything glued down so far. Remember to use generous amounts of glue here. Spread out your stars so that they um, are flaring out for you. And then on the back side here, you're going to want to make sure that you add a piece of, of the pool noodle towards the front of the truck so that when it's hanging on the door or wherever you put it, the wall, it has an, the same backing as up here because this pushes, of course, the pool noodle is thicker so it pushes it away so you need something to balance it out so that it rests on your area all level. Okay, we're gonna add fairy lights in a hanger I do recommend putting the hanger up here in the middle here so that in a short one at that so that it hangs nicely for you otherwise you might end up with a truck like this and you want it, your truck to be as straight as possible so make sure your hanger is up towards the middle there for you. Here is a finished project. I loved it. I have made three different um, firecracker signs um, doing this technique all with Dollar Tree items and I love every single one. I'm so excited for 4th of July to come and hang up all of my beautiful decorations. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. This is a quick and easy um, craft to do. Great time. I'm, I've got grandkids that are preteen and they um, want to make one as well to take home and hang in their homes. So great one to do with the grandkids as well. I hope I've inspired you. Happy crafting.